Here is a warning for those of you who work on your own older diesel engines. The day may come when you'll need to remove a pre-chamber from the cylinder head. That's what the pre-chamber looks like. And I want to warn you, when you go to remove this pre-chamber, do not forget to remove the glow plug. I know that this has happened more than most people want to admit, and it's easy to forget, but if you try to pull that pre-chamber out with the glow plug still in the head, you'll ruin the pre-chamber. See, the glow plug goes through this hole right here, so you're trying to slide hammer this pre-chamber out, you're going to destroy the side of this pre-chamber. So why would you need to take a pre-chamber out? I have another video that talks about problems with pre-chambers and I'll put a link in the show more below and you can watch that video. I won't cover it here now. But just a couple quick things. You may have a leak, a fuel leak coming out around this collar nut. This is what the collar nut looks like removed and trying to tighten this without a special tool is nearly impossible. So we've developed a special tool here in our shop. This is something that we make here and this is made out of hardened steel. It will go in and get in those notches so that you can remove this collar nut without damaging. Because you try to use any other kind of tool and you're going to break off the corners right here. Uh, and that's going to be a real problem. So the collar nut has to come out. Once the collar nut's out, the way you get the pre-chamber out is by use of a slide hammer. To remove the pre-chamber, once again, after you remove the collar nut and after you've removed the gold plug. Double check now, do not forget these gold plugs. You're gonna need a heavy slide hammer. This is a five pound slide hammer, probably the smallest one you'll want. And any slide hammer will work, but, and that's a big but, you're going to need a special adapter with a very special threaded fitting that goes down into that pre-chamber. We secure these special fittings and we actually weld this on to the end of the slide hammer adapter. So this will go down in to the pre-chamber like this and screw it all the way down. It's very important that uh, you get this screwed all the way down. I'm not going to do that in this video. I will put some links in the show more uh, description below and take you to some other videos and other information on how this is actually done. But once that special fitting is screwed all the way down to the pre-chamber. Then we attach the slide hammer and screw that all the way. Then you use this motion like this, heavy up motion. Now, I'm not going to do this because you know, the glow plug's in the hole, okay? But this is a big hammering motion. And it'll take a while to get it kind of hammering up on that to pull that pre-chamber out of the cylinder head. So there you have it. That's the tip of the day. In fact, I'm going to call that the alert or warning of the day. If you're removing those pre-chambers, don't forget the glow plug.